So I'm a crazy person, crea creative person, and I sometimes like to fixate on different actresses and stuff, go back through, through their catalog, see, um, like analyze their style, see how they interacted in interviews with the interviewer, the audience, all that fun stuff. And currently it's Fran Drescher. Um, I'm revisiting her everything like the nanny rewatched that two times in the past two weeks probably too much um two 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 <laughs> um her old interviews movies um s like small s roles that she did on sitcoms before she was famous that's right before she was famous i forget that uh, the giants in the industry of today were at one point little nobodies and <sighs> is wild she deserved a bigger applause but also go watch the her clip who's the boss Fran Drescher just like YouTube it it's actually she's always been hilarious and a wonderful performer and I'm doing my isometrics so I'm you know pinching my butt and doing that and I, that's what I do most of the time so you're telling me that when I'm angry I mask for fear shame anxiety hurt worry jealousy embarrassment sadness and I clench every muscle in my body <sighs> I'm not throwing a temper tantrum I'm simply tightening my muscles you better all watch out because by 2036 I'll be Sylvester Stallone if you don't all stop testing me I'm back again analyzing more of Fran Drescher's career I'm gonna make this a series no matter how small her role she always makes herself the focus almost now you might be saying, that's a bad thing. But even whenever she's given a drop, she gives a fucking bucket. And it always makes sense. It's not like she overacts or anything. She's just like always, like, uh, she's very tactile. And um, she speaks about this a lot in her, in some interviews and stuff. And it's just, it's very interesting. Well, no, no, I, it's all right. I think if she keeps ice on it and rests, it'll be all right. Uh, would you like to go to your room? Yes. Tom, will you help us? Sure. Come on, Helene. Careful. Are you okay? Yeah. Just keep your weight off. Okay. Boy, was that scary, Mrs. Bryant. I froze against that fence. I couldn't even move. I believe it. As I said in one of my previous TikToks, she's just a really cool performer to watch. Another Fran Drescher analysis TikTok, if you will. This one's not as fun. It's it's a little cringy. I'm not sure if any of you are aware of Howard Stern and the shock jock era that was the 90s-ish. She was on his radio show in the mid-90s and he was talking about her that happened 10 years prior. <sighs> All that. Never really? mind the speech. But Never mind the speech. No, so well, wait well, a minute. It's it's just, you put me on this. She is well. It's just very uncomfy the way that it was dealt with. But I mean, she took it in stride, and she was still there for. I don't want to say her community, but like other women that have dealt with the same thing. This is good for other victims. I'm only asking this because it's good for other victims of crime. Well, you know, especially yeah. when a celebrity can admit That's something. That's right. Then like people are ashamed. But then if that be the feel... case, then, yeah, let me, right. I was saying that one out of three women, it does happen to. Right. So but you... that's what I'm saying. It's a Those very violent women don't world. know. She stuck to her guns and that's amazing. Thank you. I really just had to make another video on the interview that Fran Drescher did with Howard Stern. Oh, I am. It's a horrible story. We did not get the same amount of time, no, obviously. Oh. All right, now what about because the other question? Did each brother get the same head. amount of time? Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> no, I mean. He's such an asshole. That's literally all I got. Is he an asshole? Why were shock jocks a thing? Got because mostly white women? Of, because the Was color it of white skin didn't, didn't make better or worse what happened to me. I mean, it's just, it has nothing to do with the color of the no, I'm who was listening to them? I talked to my dad, who was the target age group of this time, and <laughs> whenever he was like, oh yeah, that's a shock talk, that was a thing, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, did you listen to him? Thankfully he passed the test and he said that he did not. My dad's a good human. Yeah. <laughs> Which is like, 
Not funny. <laughs> I know. But, well, have you noticed no one's laughing? But I really... So I Brian Drescher is awesome. Her confidence and the way that she talks about her celebrity is... Thanks. I get, well, I could say the same compliment to you. I guess it's success. The only thing that I can liken it to is like a middle-aged white man. That kind of confidence. Which is terrible. I know women need to have that same kind of confidence. But why should she deny her celebrity whenever everyone else doesn't? She is literally f as famous as she is because a society has decided that she's this famous. And other celebrities. It's almost kind of funny the way that she talks about herself. Like, oh yes, like I've reached this fame. I'm this famous. People know my name everywhere, blah, blah, blah. But it shouldn't be funny because it's just true. You feel me? This... Well, I said, you know, we kind of, this has got to be the best nanny show a week, um, year, season, ever. Uh-huh. <laughs> and it will be. <laughs> it's the best everything, because if, you know, you're going to switch to keep following me, then I, you know, I got to give you money's worth. This one feels uh, even more chaotic than the, the previous videos, but it's there. Gotta get a workout whenever I'm doing these. Another Fran Drescher appreciation post. The movie picking up the pieces with, with with another favorite, Ross Geller from Friends, David Schwimmer. I just think that her character is really funny in juxtaposition to the nanny. It's very different. Your little townsfolk do, father. Give them what they're ignorant. Fun fact, there was an episode where she dressed up as a nun, and it was very different. <laughs> Hello, sister. Oh, hey, bro. I mean, um, <laughs> my child. I'm having fun. I hope you guys are. <laughs> Reason 569, my friend Drescher is one of the best celebrities ever to exist. She's literally there for the fans, for her work. She was on the Donnie and Marie show, and Donnie is literally making fun of her voice. You can see how uncomfortable she is. Okay. <laughs> Turn it up so everybody can hear this. Mm -hmm. I would not like them here or there. I would not like them anywhere. I do not like green eggs and ham. I do not like them, Sam I am. But she's so gracious and you see she turns to the audience and she's like, thank you for being here. And then she's like, oh yeah, I guess I have to give you a hug, Donnie, and thank you for having me here. Yes, Wednesday night. Thank you.